So my whole life, I've had a passion around health and fitness and considered myself very knowledgeable. My sister, I mean, I, I went to university, studied for a BSc in sports and exercise science at the University of Auckland. I, I dropped out with two classes to go to start my first business, which was a small ill-fated nutrition business, which, um, which died. And I kind of felt sorry for myself and didn't take ownership for that failure quickly enough to get back in the ring. But I actually had this old copy of a book called Optimum Sports Nutrition by a guy called Michael Colgan that has been read and reread and highlighted so much that it's just covered in masking tape to keep it together. So it was to some degree of shock and surprise that I just kept getting sick every year. I was getting sick, um, sufficiently sick sort of um, respiratory tract infections to warrant four courses or more of antibiotics a year. And I like my digestion was just disintegrating. I, I was kind of miserable. I looked pretty healthy and fit. I'd, just had a season playing in rugby and Aussie um, the previous year. I just finally had enough. And in 2008, um, I just went, I'm, I'm going to get on top of this. This is insane. And I went looking for a clinic. I have a lot of friends. I get to rub shoulders with a lot of um, sort of people who are very much in the know around nutrition and, and very much in the know around longevity. And I got recommended to go to a clinic uh, where I spent $35,000, which is a staggering amount of money on every blood stool, saliva, and urine test you can possibly imagine. And they came back at me, um, and it was shocking. I mean, they basically, I wasn't absorbing nutrients properly. And I had levels of almost every micronutrient between the 8th and 15th percentile. And that's not people like you, Matt. Um, that's like the whole bell curve of humanity and Walmart humanity. Just seeing like a lot of unhealthy people. And I was, I was in that, that shockingly low range. And... I had GI and, like inflammatory markers that they just never seen that high in anyone without bowel cancer. I mean, I, I had a lot of shocks and um, this was despite me eating what I thought was a great healthy um, diet. I was following sort of a 90, 10 rule, do everything right. 90% of the time, the 10% kind of doesn't matter. And thought I was taking what a bunch of what I thought were some of the greatest um, supplements of, of the time. And I had my world rock and promptly realized that, um, most of what we know, what we know about nutrition is wrong. And the solution of this clinic, who were actually, they, they were very good for me to work with. Their solution was a hundred dollar a day customized to my blood biochemistry supplement regime. It was literally about five different packets a day, individually wrapped of about 10 pills a pop. And I very promptly realized there's got to be a better way. And I love, um, I love the power of habits. I love the power of simplicity. My whole life on the entrepreneur entrepreneur journey i've always looked for um how can we and what is the better way and i went looking for how can i get all of this stuff um, in a way that actually makes sense that actually coincides with um and i can talk a little bit about that to sort of how the nutrition piece ultimately comes together but actually coincides with how how we need to get nutrients into our body and and absorb them and how we want sort of things to work in our own body and give our support but do it in an extremely powerful uh simple way because um, i like simplicity so I was very fortunate um, to be able to meet and connect with some of the smartest brains in the space and just put a staggering amount of nutrition into one product and made sure it, it tasted good, which was no mean feat. And then it really is not. And then, um, yeah, we basically <laughs> took it from there. And we haven't really stopped iterating since. It's been, oh, we're on the 52nd iteration now. The 53rd iteration will come out next year. So, why did I end up going um, in, for a, a beverage? And I think the answer is quite simply um, that simplicity and efficacy and comprehensiveness. And how do we get that much into, if we're going to go to pills, it would have been 20 pills a day. And yet we can do that in, in one scoop. And I think it tastes delicious. And, you know, we, we've sort of continually worked to, to disrupt our own product. We haven't been lazy. We've always sort of, said, what's the latest science? Where's the world going? How can we make it better? What does it look like? Who else do I need to speak to, get their opinion, get their input, um, ask our customers. We have a lot of customers in the know, get their input and continually drive that iterative approach, which has become a huge value add to our amazing customers who bake in the power of this daily nutritional habit. And we really are, that's what it is. It's a, it's a nutritional habit. And um, we continue to keep up with the science and ahead of the science. We've been very much the groundbreaker and trend center in many, many ways. And we'll continue to be to keep delivering 
um, the spectacular daily nutritional habit and the delivery system that makes the most sense is in a morning wellness beverage um, taken on an empty stomach for max absorption and if you have to take it in a shake or with your food it doesn't really matter um, you're not going to sort of suddenly not get the benefits but the idea is that you get the power of a really simple really efficacious very comprehensive nutritional habit 30 seconds a day and less than the price of a cup of coffee at your local starbucks and it allows you to stack in the power of the habit the simplicity just boom 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 and what happens is when people talk about nutrition you consider no human that i'm currently um know of has a perfect human diet and no human that i currently know of has the perfect human lifestyle and if you kind of consider well, how does how do these vagaries then impact um this the sort of health pillar of nutrition and you'd say well it's very difficult to ultimately ingest both the quality quantity and variety of great nutrients that you really want and we don't focus on the macronutrients at, at in terms of how we do this with ag like you can go get your your big bulk players um your proteins your carbs your fats somewhere else we really focus on the nutrient quality the nutrient variety and the nutrient density and just making sure ultimately you're ingesting a bolus of quality and variety and the variety is so important uh, every day so that's what, what we call say back in new zealand like get enough in the pie hole like get make sure you ingest enough the second part matt is how are you absorbing it? um how are you absorbing both these nutrients and the other things you eat some of that is a function of just not to put stupid things in the system but it's also quality the variety mechanic supporting gut health bioavailability and then more supporting gut health and i think the gut health part is now becoming more into the fore um, and there's this huge synergistic mechanic between uh, the various things you eat and how your gut environment ultimately sits and how the nutrients that you eat and in your effective almost like ambient environment of, of sort of your gut can really change the way both you absorb the nutrients that say we give you you absorb all other nutrients and even impact your body's inflammation and I think this is huge and I think we're still really early days and truly understanding um, how it all works but we know that that gut is that forefront sort of window into the body and it's not enough just to ingest you have to absorb and you have to kind of set the platform for your health with a very synergistic approach to both nutrient absorption and and your gut health then you say well okay let's talk about lifestyle um I don't think any of us are living in a lifestyle truly in accordance with what we're evolved to expect and I think it pays a lot of people to consider if there have been insults, um, toxins, any kind of pollution, not enough sleep, probably too much coffee, um, maybe not eating as, exactly cleanly as you would have liked, um, stress, st strange light patterns, um, periods where you just haven't had enough of any key nutrient, some mechanic in your body where something's not functioning quite correctly, so your body's pinching and scraping um, from other areas to try to make good, but leaving um, something else now suboptimal and this idea that you can give your body a daily caress and those key functions your brain your liver um, hormonal support and just trying to caress the body back to the good and if someone's sort of hardcore in the red or hardcore in the yellow and just think of that old needle meter right and you talk about health i'm sure and exercise and people moving these these things into the green and we both know people can overtrain and start to bounce into the yellow and red and there's mechanics here but basically just think of that old dial and whether you are someone in the red or the yellow i'll help you move to the green or if you're a very elite athlete and you're already hardcore in the green um we can also help you move to the green but i think the important thing is we've never gone out there trying to say this is a silver bullet this is going to cure all this is for people who want to take ownership of their health and this is a foundational nutritional habit for those people who, who want to do that and that's that's our space um that's literally what i've spent 12 years building <laughs> and and now i think we're at a time where more and more humans care more about um having control and ownership of their health than ever before and more people are looking for well what's the best what's that best nutritional habit or the different nutritional habit and like now you, we've got 10 12 years of sticking to our our chops as as a brand that people can trust and quality with a polar opposite of that guy um you know we, we've always been under promise over deliver and i think that you know there's this whole world out there where people want to align with brands that they trust they want to align with quality they want to align with the best of 
and I'm very proud of what the team's done to make sure that's that's the company and brand promise that we've delivered to our customers every day. And I'm proud of it. I'm also honored and privileged to be able to have that that trust from our customer base. 